Hey guys, I uh, just got a quick video on the uh, this 2010 Chevy Impala. It's a 3.5 liter. Now, mostly it's going to be about this Autel, which I think is pretty cool, or Autel in general. Um, but this vehicle here, it's got the engine reduced power, it's got the check engine light. It did have all the st service stability track and the traction control lights and all that stuff on the dash as well. Um, I cleared the codes and those messages haven't come back yet. Um, but these are the codes that were in it initially uh, We had uh, a P2138 accelerator pedal position sensor uh, sensor 1 to 2 correlation um, the ABS had the ECM indicated a throttle control issue um, And then uh, Was anything else related to that? Not really, but either way, so um, we had a throttle issue issue um, with accelerator pedal. The two sensors in there were not agreeing with each other. And so of course you get all the reduced power, you get everything else going on. Uh, so if we erase the codes and okay, so then all of that, uh, we're just key on engine off. So at least the message goes away. So quick thing we can do um, usually in these if they don't fault right away and when we fire it up it, it doesn't fault right away well, I could probably do that right now so I can rev it up wait for all that to finish with this bulb check now if I rev it up one second so I can rev it up I got no messages wait for it to come down off the Cold, fast idle, all that stuff. So I can rev it up. No messages yet. So let me shut this off again and read codes. Come on. I don't believe there will be any codes in there just yet. Come on. Uh, current. No fault codes. That's what we thought. So, um, these kinds of issues, when you don't have a, a, a hard fault all the time, then what you'll have is, because they're wiper contacts, right? There'll be certain spots that get worn out. So, you go through the whole sweep of it, and of course, in order to do that, you have to have the vehicle off, otherwise you'll rev the snot of it through a rod, right? Because you won't be able to go wide open throttle uh, stationary. So, throttle actuator control. Now, this is one of the things that Autel has that I don't know if other people have, but it's really cool. I really like it for stuff like this. So we want accelerator pedal position sensor, whether they agree, sensor one and two. So we might as well put throttle, whether they agree as well. Then we'll put these two, our sensor one, sensor two for the accelerator pedal position. Actually, you know what? We don't even need the throttle. We know it's accelerator pedal. So. Um, one of the things I really don't like about Autel, I don't know if the fancier scanners have this. I just have the MS906BT. So I hate how I have to click on this and I hate how I have to enter this on each one. This takes time. Zero and five. I have to set the scales otherwise. A lot of times the scale will be like way off the chart and you won't really be able to see any uh, anything useful. But check this out. So I select that, so I just select the two graphs. Now I can click this graph merge. Hey, that's cool. So now I can unselect this one. And hang on one second. So I can click this again, click that. So okay, now I just have this two, two uh, PIDs that I wanna look at. Actually there's three because this is a graph merge. I got whether or not they agree and the two PIDs. So, I can just go through slowly pushing on the pedal. Let's actually slow that down a little bit. Slowly push on the pedal. Get the end of the free play. And you just want to slowly push, slowly push, slowly push. And you want nice smooth lines. And so far it's all agree at the top. And just keep going, just keep going, just keep going. Just keep going. Try to push it as little as possible so you just get gradual increases.
There you go. Disagree right there. See, there's that little drop right there. And I'm just pushing more and more. And now there's even more drops. And I'm holding it steady. I think that's really cool. So this is just me holding it steady. I'm not moving the pedal at all. And I'll back off a little bit. And you just find that sweet spot where the contacts are worn out. Push it, apply, apply it a little bit more, a little bit more. A little bit more. Give it off. And then we'll just, okay, there's a big drop. So it will, or maybe that was just a delay on my uh, scanner because I let off, but we'll find the spot. It's about two thirds of the way down. And then, so if we go kind of quickly, we don't necessarily see it. There's a full press delay there, push that too fast. But yeah, so the graph merge on Autels is really handy for finding stuff like this, where you can compare the two and you're just looking for dropouts. So whenever you see stuff like this, whenever you see dropouts like that, but otherwise the signals are working just fine, yeah, it's just a matter of a bad part, uh, nothing more to it. So that's, that's me holding stationary I'm not moving the pedal at all. Not moving the pedal. Not moving the pedal. And then now I let go. So anyways, uh, I'll tell for the win. I think that's cool. It definitely comes in handy at times. The, um, you know, the looking at the live data on the I'll tell sometimes it's not that good. Especially trying to go back over recorded data. Like, you know, when you try and save it and try and look at it after your road test. <laughs> yeah. Forget about that. That's one thing that snap ons pretty good for, actually. You can just uh, select your PIDs that you want to look at, you know, toss the scanner off to the side, go for your drive, especially if you're just by yourself, and then afterwards, just make sure you don't shut the vehicle off, otherwise you'll lose your data. Afterwards, on a snap-on, especially like the, the Verises, uh, the previous generation, I don't know if the Zeus's and those models will do it as well, but you get all your PIDs selected that you're looking at, and you can go through and you can go, um, you can view them, you can set them as graphs, you can go scroll back and through them on all that stuff. On the Autels, particularly this one, I think it's better on the bigger ones, the more expensive ones, but these ones here, it'll only save whatever's on the screen. So if you select a whole bunch of PIDs and you're going on a road test and you go to try to go back afterwards, if you scroll down to ones that weren't on the screen, it, it didn't record the data for those, which is kind of annoying. But uh, anyways, I just want to show this feature. It's pretty handy. So if you got one of these and you didn't know about it, um, you know, select a couple graphs. Make sure you set your settings first. Uh, otherwise, you won't be able to set it afterwards. And then hit graph merge. And then say if you got these ones selected, if you want to unmerge these, you can't really unmerge them, I don't think. Uh, you just have to. It's kind of also really annoying. You have to go back out, wait for that to finish, and then go back into your data and then reselect them. It's also kind of annoying, but hey, what can you do? Anyways, I just thought I'd share that with you guys. And this one here just needs a throttle pe or pedal position sensor, which usually is the whole pedal. Okay, so we got our new pedal uh, assembly in and we want to verify that uh, everything's working fine. We've got no dropouts. There's no possibilities of wiring. Normally on something like this, I don't even bother checking wiring because it's, it's pretty rare especially if you see just a certain spots that there's dropouts or little glitches but you don't see it the whole way you know what it's it's so unlikely for that to be wiring it's getting a sensor but you want to verify it afterwards verify the repair so if you remember from before as soon as this hit one glitch that would go to disagree and stay at disagree so we just slowly hit the pedal And we just watch it. We're just slowly going more and more and more. There is a little bit of a delay with the scan tool. It's not getting the best refresh rate right now. 
but we do see a gradual rise. And the entire time it says agree. That's a good thing. I think we were past the point of which it was glitching out. And we mat it fully. So we got four volts on the top one, or sensor one, and two volts on sensor two. Now we can slowly go back. Well, maybe not quite as slowly, but you get the idea. The entire time it says agree. That, folks, would be a fix. Anyways, uh, hopefully this is helpful to you guys. If you have an Autel and you didn't know about the graph, uh, the graph merge feature, it is super handy. But uh, again, keep in mind, if you want to go back out of it, if you want to get the two individual PIDs, you can't unmerge them. At least that I know of. I don't think you can. Um, every time I've done it, I just have to go out and go back into live data. It's a bit of a pain, but um, you know, it's one of those things. All scan tools have certain things that they do really good at, and other things they're kind of annoying. Um, anyways, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.